close to this one. Yeah, there's someone sitting. <laughs> Good morning, Al. Good morning, Anne. <laughs> I was just dropped Al's wheel off to get uh, repaired. Yes. New tyre, new, new tube. 50 euros. <laughs> we had, we had to, uh, yeah, we had to wait a day, extra day in Basel, because everything was shut. And uh, the guy was there at nine o'clock on the dot. Nice, wasn't it? And the funny thing was the bike cost a hundred <laughs> Australian dollars <laughs> in uh, Tasmania. So, um, yeah. It was second hand. <laughs> yeah. If it plays up again, I'll buy a new bike, I think. <laughs> anyway. So we're just having croissants and coffee while the guy fixes it. Bye. We had to wait, wait around another day to get the a new tube and tyre put on my back wheel. The actual tyre was bulging out. It actually, when it had a, a blowout, um, it actually damaged the side wall of the tyre, and so we had to uh, replace the whole tyre. So um, with that tube, spare tube, uh, and an extra puncture kit, hundred euros. Mm. Almost one and a half times the amount I paid <laughs> for the bike in Tasmania. So, things are very expensive in uh, Switzerland. Uh, yeah, 100 euros would be about $160 in Australia. Yes, yeah. yes. So, well and truly um, more than what I paid for the bike. But anyway... Um, if it gets us going. It gets us going. So, we're, we're about to leave the hotel, get back on our bikes, put the wheel back on first, and then we're off. And we cross over the Rhine into Switzerland. We're already in Switzerland, actually. But we cross over the Rhine and we head sort of northeast for a while. Uh, and we follow the Rhine to Lake Constance before heading into Austria further on. So it'll take us probably a week to get to, um, uh, what's the name of the place? Not Strasbourg. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, Salzburg. <laughs> Salzburg, sorry. <laughs> Always get this in the Salzburg, and then we head south, turn right, head south, and go over the mountains right down into Italy and uh, the Adriatic Sea oh. near Croatia. <laughs> Wish us luck. Yeah. <laughs> and here we are, packed up panniers, on panniers, on panniers. Okay, let's go. Let's start cycling. We're on our way. We're leaving Basel in a few minutes and hopefully we'll get on the Velo 6 fairly soon. We're just leaving Basel. There's a tiny drone. I don't know whether anyone can see it because I certainly can't, <laughs> but Al <Elk> can. <laughs> a lot of work going on everywhere. It's a very, very pretty city. We were in the old part, which seemingly is the best. Unfortunately, museums were shut yesterday, so we missed out a bit. Here we are leaving Basel, painless it was, uh, a couple of streets with trams, all well behaved the traffic and now we're cycling along the, uh, the other side of the Rhine, 
Switzerland side and uh, and setting a pace. Another gorgeous day. I think it's 27 predicted for Basil today, or Basil. But uh, the thunderstorms seem to be brewing. Let me just point out all the old houses on the other side. Beautiful trees. These are London plane trees that have been uh, pleached. It's a little copus. Not sure what the word is for that, but it certainly look nice. Ah, it ended. Pretty sharp. So they get some warm weather here. They've got Washington palms growing here as well, so it must be. Uh, We're on a bit of subtropics here. We've left Basel, we're about 12 kilometres down the track, and we're in a little place called Houghton, and uh, we're about to have the first beer of the day, and uh, we're going to carry on the side of the Rhine, and we're hoping to get to Stein on Rhine today, but if not, we'll get there tomorrow. So cheers, everyone. Cheers. Here's a nice little restaurant. Fish and Reinfeld. Yeah. And a little fish out there. I haven't seen anyone catch fish yet, have you? I did see them all summer the empire on the canal. Did he catch one? Yeah.
this uh, cycle track, I think it's basically called a three country one because you've got, uh, you're in France one minute, you're in Switzerland the next minute and then you're in Germany. You really haven't a clue where you are most of the time. Beautiful tail. Caught her eye. <laughs> That's about all it caught. <laughs> this is Molen. Molen. Uh, we're in a village called Molen, where the Rhine is just a, around the corner. M O H L I N. Gorgeous though. Contentment. Except for the flies, of course. Beautiful. Just outside the town. Beautiful little Swiss farm. Here we are in this beautiful little forest. Gorgeous. Listen to the birds, that's all you can hear. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. It's about 4.30 in the afternoon, so we have to start thinking about where, to, where we're going to stay tonight. It's very hard to make uh, bookings in advance when you don't know where you're going to be. People are checking at 3 o'clock, so <laughs> if you can get in not long yeah. after that. Yeah, we should be right. You may get Wouldn't spot. mind find, finding a campsite, but we have... Hmm. Would lie to you, doesn't matter what I do. She's got a hold on me. She knows how to drive a truck, but she lets me pick her up when we're going dancing. My heart stops beating when my headlights shining on her. She's my country girl. Well, here we are. We've uh, just gone through five kilometers of beautiful forest. And we came out to this picnic spot. So we're having afternoon tea. Uh, no plates, but never mind. And uh, we've got some camembert or brie, I'm not sure, avocado, a few, I think Swedish croutons or whatever you call them, little pieces of bread, and um, tomato and salt. What else would you want? Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, Anne. Just no rain. <laughs> Thank you. 